What I wanted to ask first is, so you really work on drug delivery systems for all kinds of medical conditions. Are there any implants similar to this that are actually in clinical use, maybe in another disease area? We do develop implants for a number of different conditions besides HIV pre-exposure prophylaxis. We are looking at a variety of different chronic conditions, but in the context of a prevent preventative uh, uh, regimen or in the context of a treatment regimen. And this range between HIV, diabetes, and so forth. People often think about long-acting injections. That's something we're quite familiar with now. What are the pros and cons between implants and injections? So injections do offer a very simple way to deliver the drugs so that patients can receive in a doctor's office. However, they are limited by the duration of the, the regimens of the drug administration. So they are typically limited to from weeks to months. And, uh, and they do suffer from uh, different drug release over time. So the drug at first is releasing faster and then later on the drug tapers down to the point that then you reach in, in areas for which you definitely need to go and receive an additional drug administration and other injection. So the key difference with the implant is that implants offer long-term drug delivery for multiple years. This is the case of our technology and uh, uh, do not have an inflection in the drug release. So the drug release is constant, uh, remain constant for multiple months until the drug is pretty much 100% uh, released from the implant itself. When some of the issues happened with Islatrovir, I think a lot of people got the message that maybe development of Islatrovir as a long-term or long-acting product was over. If, but do you think maybe it's not quite as simple as that? So we are always pushing forward, considering that Islatravir is not abandoned clinically. It will be, in this moment, is, is tested in clinical trial in combination with Lena Kapavir in collaboration with Gilead Sciences. And therefore, there is a potential for Islatravir still to be used in the context of a long-acting 